Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do my January TBR. Hopefully we're starting the year off right with some good books. And so I'm excited to see what we're going to be reading this year. So first I'm going to be starting with my book club book and that is A History of All Places by Shay Earnshaw and this is a mystery like magical realism thriller type novel about a guy who has this like ability to find people and he goes missing and so then some other guy like goes to look for him and this sounds really interesting and I'm super excited to read this. I am expecting this to be so good. Also, I literally love the cover. Like it's so stunning. Like it's an ink blot, but like it's also the forest and I'm absolutely obsessed with this cover. So I'm really excited to get this get to this one and hopefully it's really good. So the next two books that I will be picking will be off of my 22 books to read in 2022 list um so i will be picking two from this list to hopefully read in the month of january so i'm gonna throw up a screen recording on the screen really quickly and then we will get to spinning okay so it looks like the first book that was picked is a Touch of Darkness by Scarlett Sinclair and this is a Hades and Persephone retelling so I'm really excited for this one. Um, I have been wanting to read this one for a while and just haven't gotten the chance to get around to it so I'm really excited to pick this one up and see if it lives up to the hype because I've heard nothing but great things about this book. And now for the second book off of this list. So it picked Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maherin and I'm really excited to read this. One of my friends actually read this and really loved it. It was also a birthday gift from Justine so thank you Justine for this book. I'm so excited to pick it up and read it. I've heard really good things about it and I'm excited to see if I enjoy it this as well. Um, as far as I know this is about a witch and a witch hunter who are forced to have an arranged marriage but the witch hunter does not know that he has been married to a witch so yeah that sounds absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to pick this up so the next two books that I will be picking will be from my physical TBR um so trying to read as many of these as I can and if it happens to be like the second or the third of a book then I'll read the first one if I haven't read it if that makes sense so yeah I'm gonna do two for this list and see which ones it picks okay so it ended up picking Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor and this is the third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Um, I've actually read A Daughter of Smoke and Bone twice and then I did end up reading the second book for like a read along but then never ended up getting around to this third book. I had wanted to pick it up in 2021 and it never ended up happening. So this is also a very big book. So we'll see um hopefully I remember everything that happened in the first two books because not gonna lie not trying to reread them so yeah I'm a little bit less excited but still excited okay and so the final book that I will be spinning for in this video is going to be Okay, a romance. So the book that it chose obviously was All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. And this is also a very chunky book. So um, yeah, I will be hopefully getting to this one in January as well. Um, as far as I know, this is about a girl and she goes on like 
a vacation of some sort and she ends up staying in this guy's cabin and he has like I think he has like a kid maybe a daughter or son or something and it's basically like forced proximity and he's like mean to her and he's like a grumpy like sunshine type situation and it is as far as I know a slow burn um I heard that Mary Potter is the queen of slow burn so we'll see um how I end up dealing with that because I'm not the biggest fan of slow burn but I heard that these is done really really well so I'm excited to pick this one up and see if I end up liking it Okay, so that is all the books that I will be spending for in this video. I did want to mention that I will be participating in the New Beginnings Readathon in the month of January that Casey and Zach are hosting over at Books and Bops. I am on Team Zach, so I am excited to um, participate in this readathon. And I do believe that some of these books do actually end up fitting. Um, most of the prompts so if I can read every book then I will get all the prompts and yeah so I am excited for January I'm excited for 2022 and hopefully this reading year that's going to be coming up um, I'm excited to participate in the readathon and hopefully get some really good books read in January and yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. You don't have to. It would be awesome if you did, though. I will have all of my social medias linked down in the description if you want to follow me or be friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.